Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, Gary Dean Detailing, and DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start work, well, I'm about to continue working on my personal boat. I will be applying some pearls in the VersaCoat 13 when I apply it to my boat. I am likely going to use these pearls here. That color looks amazing. I love the purple to green to blue shift uh, that that does. It's really a great looking color. Um, I'm debating doing that or a translucent, like a ghost shimmer violet. Like, so when you look at it straight on, it'll be a white boat. But when you look at it in a, at an angle, you'll see all the violet and that kind of thing in it. Um, I have been testing a couple of different, uh, gel coat restoration products that we've put together one here and one here and one there. And this actually is VersaCoat 13 and it looks great. In fact, cool part is got some transfer on top of it. I'm gonna see how easy that is to get it off, but it's in good shape. Very happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing all this crap from the side with acetone. I'm gonna rub it down real good with acetone. At my training last weekend, I had here at the shop, um, I have an old version of uh, VC13 on the transom, and I showed everybody how easy it was to remove uh, the gunk from it. It's super easy to clean. I did it on both sides, as you can see. Uh, this is actually just two-stroke oil that sits in the water and just sticks to the transom. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this thing up, get the scuffs off, that kind of thing, and then, it is likely I can spray this thing either today or on Monday, which is probably more likely. So I'm on it. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing wiped down a little bit better. You can see that a lot of it is off here. I still got a, some of an old layer. I don't really care that much. I just want it all glossy. That's what most people want anyway. All right, I'm going to go ahead on with the prep. I am going to do an uh, acid bath to get rid of these uh, yellow spots. Um, you can see it's all patchy in there with the yellow because this side I actually wet sanded and polished this entire side after I did the VC13 application three years ago. And um, basically I sanded it too much and it got thin so it was able to be uh, penetrated by the brackish water which is why we have these water spots. Anyway, um, we finally have the product launched, so I want to put the most current and updated version of it on there on my personal boat, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some decals for the back for my business. So, all right, here we go. You see what it looks like now, and uh, you'll see what it looks like when I get done. I definitely need to acid wash that bottom. It looks horrible. Okay, so we're back working on my boat again. So, a few days ago, I spent a few hours prepping this thing, removing the factory uh, Cape Horn decals and all of that. And then I sprayed on a mystic blue-green color shift um, on the whole hull. And you can see where that was. Well, first I sprayed the Glimmer Ghost Violet. Um, ghost pearl on the white it didn't show up too well it came out a little bit blotchy it was a larger fragment size than uh the tip that i was anyway it didn't work out so then i cleaned most of it off and left the rest and that's why you see it's kind of red in this area it's where the uh, violet was anyway long story short i'm re-prepping this thing i'm masking everything up I just got this side pretty much prepped. I got to do a solvent wipe down. I've got to remove that uh, roller and I've still got to get this side prepped. But you can see it looks good, but it do just doesn't shift properly. And you can see how inconsistent um, because I didn't overload the pearls like I should have. I did not get even coverage, so it's a little blotchy. Uh, which again, I don't care because I'm going to use the same color shift today. Let me show you. 
it's going to be this right here what's on this fender right here and what's on this top here that's what's going on the boat but you got to do a black base so this fender was black when we sprayed it on um, this was obviously a darker green which worked well but on the white and you can see the uh the pearl in it from here or i can it at least um so why am i standing in the dark inside the shop well uh well <laughs> i'm a dummy basically they all uh, well the lights burned out on me, so I have new ones coming. I don't know what's going on with them, but uh, the whole strip's burned out. You're not supposed to run more than, I think, four or five at a time, which I have them separated. I don't know. Anyway, so I have new ones on order, and these are going to go back. But anyway, as far as the boat goes, you can see the pearl in it, and it looks okay. We took it out the other day. Um, I had a couple of people say hey what's going on with your boat and it was more of a hey it looks funny than it was a hey your boat looks awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna tint the versa coat 13 black i'm gonna lay down a coat of black to darken everything up then on top of the black this color shift will come out pretty good see at the top you can see the purple hue in here and you can see the green here and then the blue in this area it's beautiful i love this color shift it's it's really nice so i think it'll look great on the boat i don't really have an accent color per se but it's going to look great so again i got this side straight i got a little bit of uh, dock rash the other day that i just fixed in several spots and I got a ton of dock rash back here, but I fixed all of that. So, um, gel coat repair is happening. You can't see, well, I guess you can see the spots where the gouges were, but they look a lot better now. Um, I'm not going to do the transom today. I'm going to tape off the transom so that I don't have to deal with it today. I'm going to have to do the transom on another day, but you can see the line, the tape line here where the pearls are on this side. The boat's supposed to be this color, but you've got that eggshell looking color with all the pearls all over it. But you can still see the uh, decals, which I don't love. Um, but with the black base, you won't be able to see any of the defects in the actual boat, especially because the color shift is gonna be a lighter color. So when the final is set and, set and done, it will be a bright greenish aqua blue purple hue. I am super excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side prepped and sanded and then get some of this masking done and I'll bring you back. All right, here we go. Everything is masked up and wiped down. There's a uh, prep and prime spray that we are launching with the VersaCoat 13 as well as a pre-wash shampoo, non-chlorinated, which is the most important part. So it doesn't have any uh, salt or chlorine in it. And uh, it's basically going to strip off any and everything that's on there and allow you to get your prep and your taping done with a clean uh, vehicle or vessel. And then after that, you're able to uh, go right into spraying or whatever it is you want to do um, i believe i got most of these runs out and everything looks pretty good i don't think we're gonna have a lot of problem with anything i got the trailer all masked off um, the top rail the tongue and everything i got my roller disconnected and basically everything's taped up and ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and tint the versacote 13 black so that I could lay down the black base on this. And the, you can see where the light is reflecting there. You can see where the, the pearls are, are there. This has uh, about two and a half coats of uh, VC-13 on it right now. I did try to sand out some of the runs with 320 grit. And then I went back behind everything with 600 grit. Um, 
to basically smooth it all out. I also noticed when I was trying to get a couple of the runs out the other day that the towels, let's see. I had purchased some of these uh, terry towels to for the removal process. The problem is they leave behind a lot of lint and stuff, so it's just not gonna work out. And when you're wiping, the other problem is the product, as you're trying to break it down and remove it, it sticks to the towel and the towel sticks to the surface and then it hardens again. And so when you rub on it, you get a semi rough surface. So I wanted to go over it with 600 grit because this time I'm doing it right. I'm laying down the black base, then I'll put the pearls on that and then I'll do two coats of Versa Coat 13 on top of that. Then I will reapply some registration numbers and I'm gonna have a buddy of mine is going to make me a, a big business decal for the side which I'm pretty stoked about. I'm sick of being out on the boat and not having it badged up for the biz. So, all right, well, nothing left to do but to do it. So I'm gonna get the uh, compressor and the gun all straightened out and I'll bring you back uh, after we've laid down that black base. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the boat is black. So I used exactly 27 ounces of Versico 13 to get this boat black. Now, you might be saying it is not completely, like there are definitely some lighter spots. That's not as important as the next coat with the pearls. We just had to lay down a black base so that the pearls would shine more. Pearls work best on a black base. So, the boat is now black. Again, I used 27 total ounces of Versico 13. And then the black pigment. And some acetone. But total of Versico 13 for that coat. So basically I did two light coats on both sides. And this is an 18 foot boat. So I did, I used 27 ounces of VC 13 so far. Um, to do three steps, which is the black base. Then the next step is the pearls, which is gonna be two light coats. And then I'm gonna put two heavy coats of the clear VC-13 on top of that. So it is likely I'm gonna use th about three quarts so three quarters of a gallon on this 18 foot boat. And the reality is that same number would apply if I were doing the transom, which I'm not. I'm going to do something different with the transom. Most likely I will demask the back here after the pearls get shot, clean up the rear, the transom area, and then shoot a coat of clear on everything. I believe that that is the best option. Um, with all of this stuff back here on pretty much anybody's transom, it would be a bitch to tape it all up. Totally doable though. Um, I just didn't care about that space on my boat. I wanted the hull to look fantastic and that's exactly where we're at. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Um, this is, I don't know, probably five minutes ago I got done. I am using the R500. I am gonna go ahead and continue to clean this gun out. Um, I already cleaned out my cups here, so those are clean. Um, I do have to clean out the gun, and then we should be ready. You want you want about 20 to 30 minutes between coats. It needs to be dry to the touch, and you don't go touching the VersaCoat 13 where it needs where it's been sprayed. What you do is you go somewhere around it, like all of this, and you touch that, and you see if this is dry. It's all dry. All right, it's all black. Now time to clean the gun up, shoot it with the pearls, and then I'll bring you back after we've shot it with the pearls. Just to give you a reminder, I'm shooting it with these pearls. 
that's where we're at, baby. She's going to be nice. All right, I'm on it. Bring you back shortly. Well, I know I started to shoot the video for this, but I got caught up and got 9,000 different things going on. So she's all done in that awesome color shift. The boat looks super, super awesome. Nice gloss. I did not do the transom. Uh, it is done in VC-13. I had to repair some issues up here, some gouges, so that's all repaired. Also, I'm gonna remove all this extra stuff, but that is just oil from the two-stroke that likes to be back there. But this boat looks just ridiculous. So that's Versacote 13 on my 2003 Cape Horn 17 OS. Really, really looks nice. I'll get you back on the other side where the uh, sun is right now. Man. If you want your boat done in any color, doesn't matter what color, it could be a solid color, it could be a color shift, I can do any of it. Just let me know, 813-846-4406. Um, I am going to be putting business decals, Versacote 13 decals and all of that on the boat. But... I'm very happy with how it came out. I'm hoping to sell a lot of not only the product, but installs on the product. And I can do this in any color. We, can, we have many, many color shift options. We have many, many single stage. Well, I shouldn't say stage, but uh, regular single color options with the pearls. Uh, so this is my product, Versacote 13, and we're adding special pearls I have to have them specially coated you cannot use regular pearls for automotive paint in this uh, Versacote 13 formula because the formula the solvents in there will eat the uh, pearls so I am producing my own line of pearls and you can see I also did my truck my old beater shop truck with the Versacote 13 as well that's a completely different color shift. This one's more ocean-like, which is why I did the boat with it. Um, that one is more of a dramatic purple-green. This is more of a mystic blue-green is what the uh, colors were supposed to be, but it also has purple in it. So, if you want this done, if you're looking for a custom look to your boat, or ski, or car, or motorcycle, whatever, and you want to be able to take it off and go back to original anytime you want. This is what you want. You can remove Versacote 13 with acetone. If you don't want it to go away, it will literally not go away. It was designed to be permanent. However, if you want to remove it, it's as simple as soaking a towel in acetone and starting to wipe. And it will go away. Now, my boat has several coats on it of pearls it has um it has two coats of black tinted versa coat then i put on four coats of pearls and two coats of clear on top of that uh but when i sprayed it i sprayed it in a mat and i didn't really love it so then i just cut and buffed it with 2000 grit and polished it out and got the gloss, looks great. Very happy with it. So 813-846-4406 is my cell. I am Gary Dean, the owner of Versacote 13. And we're gonna be coating some boats. Oh, and if you have an old oxidized boat like mine was when I started, and you're not looking for all this fanciness, we can do the Versacote 13 treatment to stop your oxidation or to slow it way down, because otherwise there's no way to do it, um, we can apply it in just the clear version, which is the normal version before we add the pearls or any pigments. Um, we can put the clear version on your old 
oxidized boat and bring all of the gloss back indefinitely. So let's talk about it. Same thing with RVs, oxidation, no more. Have me spray this stuff all over your RV or your boat. You don't have any more oxidation pro problems. We take care of it and we seal those pores in so no dirt and grime can get all up in them. And this product does not oxidize. It will not yellow, peel, crack, none of that. All right, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. And if you wanna be an installer for VersaCoat 13, just give me a shout. Like I mentioned already, 813-846-4406. Have a great day, guys.